All right. Testing. One, two, three. Hello, hello. Am I live? Good evening, my spirit source. <laughs> so, welcome back to Alone in the Dark segment <laughs> number two. <laughs> so, where we left off, we started with um, going with Hold on, I'm <laughs> trying to recap here. <laughs> okay, we're recapping. <laughs> so we started off with choosing our characters, Ed Carby, Emily Hartwood. And I should have put two and two together about uh, Ed Carby's uh, actor, David Harbour. I, <laughs> I should have known. I, I looked it up. And I've been a fan of this <laughs> actor in Stranger Things. He does Jim Hopper. <laughs> I <laughs> I should have known. I knew his voice sounded so familiar. <laughs> hey Elsa, <laughs> welcome in. Welcome, welcome. I just <laughs> man, <laughs> I should have put two and two together about his voice. <laughs> he does other things. I believe I, I've seen uh, he done Hellboy in that uh, uh, I think it was the first Hellboy I think he played the father for Hellboy <laughs> I think <laughs> um, I haven't seen this one that he was in a violent night but man <laughs> I I was a fan of him in Stranger Things. <laughs> yep. <laughs> I'm not certain I've seen uh, the actress uh, Jodie Comer who does Emily Hartwood. So Ed Carby's a uh, client. He's trying to. He was hired for from her. <laughs> uh, Jodie Comer is <laughs> an actress that does uh, certain things that I haven't seen, but seems like I could try to sit down what she does, like the white princess uh, that she was in looked like a, a great uh, title art in it. <laughs> Not sure what her work is all about, <laughs> mind you. <laughs> I just learned about her. <laughs> and uh, so we chose Ed Carby and we are doing some investigations. There have been certain supernatural <laughs> that we encountered. It's like the house has been voodooed, cursed, or it's a haunting that Ed Carby just uh, traveled in. Um, a universe or a portal of something unusual <laughs> I just I have a I am in conflict whether I need to attack the creatures <laughs> it's just I don't know it's so bizarre to understand what the a plot is headed towards <laughs> but I am learning about this and the puzzles in here <laughs> I'm finding some clues based on um, assist and I'm trying to learn how to um, piece the puzzles together <laughs> all right so um, <laughs> without further ado and we met up with a lovely nurse <laughs> who was trapped in a creature's den. And now we're on to figuring out uh, hmm. well, we've left off with there to um, 
get out of that uh, second portal. <laughs> and, uh, yeah. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> Man, that second portal uh, journey was something. <laughs> it was really something. <laughs> that big creature looked like it was a blind dog or something. All right. So I'll uh, sit back and get comfy. We're figuring out the next part of the investigation. Okay. Obsolete items have been archived. What does that mean? Open archive? Family Bible? What does this mean? Every day your silence weighs a little heavier. It's been a difficult year for everyone and many have lost all hope. I read in the papers about people suffering. Pictures of dust-covered landscapes without a drop of water. I wish I knew if you were still tending the earth or if you had turned your back against us. I have started to look for help elsewhere. I pray you will tell me if I'm going down a path that you find disagreeable. With help from Batiste and Charlotte, I found comfort in the practice of the voodoo. I have long been skeptical of that Caribbean cult, but it's been of good use to me. Oh, this is a family Bible. <laughs> in my book. Uh, I see some words dreamt up by the Creoles, and I can't... I, I believe we read that. <laughs> Okay, so some items get archived, I think. Hmm. Talisman schematics. Three, five, eight. Oh. So that would have been a answer what I need to do. Talisman with black sunstone. An ancient navigational tool found inside Ooh, this the voice actor. the Bayou Tonk. <laughs> the old grave was uncovered by oil riggers and this said voice to have is unleashed amazing. <laughs> devil that massacred its finders. Three numbers are needed to span a bridge between escapes of dream and memory, according to Stein. Not where I want to be, but it's a start. Three, five, eight. Oh, cool. <laughs> God, that sounded so cool. <laughs> okay, so archived. Uh, can I access the archive? And how to do that? Uh, okay, so map. So, we're in a small parlor. We need to go to the drawing room. There's a puzzle in boiler room. Wasn't there another um, wedge I, in the door somewhere? Where was it? I've seen it. It didn't seem like it got highlighted. Okay, so sunk. palette knife. It worked. <laughs> Wait, are we in the library? Wait. Barlow lens instructions. The Barlow lens instructions. To double the magnification of your telescope, simply fit this Barlow lens to your instrument. Then operate the fine tuners to adjust the distance between your lenses. This is easily done while looking through your eyepiece. Simply search for a position where your picture is clear and appears flat. When correctly tuned, your telescope should present a clear picture with magnificent magnification. Hold on, I'm just putting, 
putting down notes. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> All right. <gasps> A peacock. <laughs> it looks like um uh <laughs> It really looks like um Quackwaval. <laughs> I love that Pokemon. <laughs> we found a dog collar! Don't mind if I do. <laughs> hey, lost children, we completed it. What's this? A drink? Don't mind if I do. Cellar <laughs> key! Ha! Huh. Someone's not putting away their keys <laughs> very well. Okay, so we got two keys now. Uh, <laughs> sitting room key, cellar key. Nice. <laughs> oh! I didn't mean to do that, I... <laughs> Gosh, I would pick up those books. <laughs> Something about games I I just doesn't care what happens <laughs> with the walking. <laughs> when they bump into stuff and they're like... Uh, <laughs> they don't even have a reaction and <laughs> stuff happens. <laughs> Pardon me. This has been opened. Now we're talking. <laughs> that is <laughs> the actor does such a good, amazing when he owns a <laughs> boob stick. <laughs> He's, he's doing such an amazing job with <laughs> his voice reactions. <laughs> uh, huh? What? Uh, do I have a key? No. <laughs> uh, okay, so, um... Wait, wait, what, what? <gasps> Oh, come on, if I have to. <laughs> oh, God. Dude, Jesus. Oh, pancakes. Oh, God. Oh, God. No, oh, what do I do? Do I have to fight now? Do I really have to fight? Yeah. Oh gosh. Oh god. Oh god. Oh gosh. Ooh. Bonfire night. <laughs> Okay, let's see what this does. <laughs> oh. Oh. Holy. Ah. <gasps> 
It's like there's blood now. Um... Uh... <laughs> okay. I'm confused. <laughs> If I'm covered in blood, uh, is that effective for the plot or something? Because I don't know what's going on. Okay, let's see here. Uh. Uh, okay, do I go down here? Okay, so we're going to the cellar, I suppose. Since I'm here. <laughs> I mean, that's the first time... I try to do a battle. Cellar key. <gasps> oh gosh. Oh, oh, oh dear. I didn't see that. A circuit box. Oh, I, I think I need something. A switch? An electric circuit breaker belonging to a fuse box. Oh, this is what I need! How convenient! Now we just get up there. It worked. Ooh, valve handle. Used for adjusting the flow of water and steam. Alright. <laughs> I'm leaving the place at dark. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh god. Do I have to turn the lights on? <laughs> God, don't do that with the door! No, I can't turn on the light. <laughs> no, what do I do? <laughs> Seriously. I do. <laughs> Seemed like my only option was in there, but <laughs> what do I do with the monster in there? <laughs>
surely there's another exit. <laughs> uh, but how? <laughs> okay, we're letting the monster out. <laughs> Dear God. Come this way. Yeah, come this way. I'm right here. Come this way. Okay, go, 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 go. Oh god! <laughs> oh shit. Oh god. Jeremy? Jeremy? What the hell is going on? What the hell? Plate. Uh, okay. Hmm. Now the lights are on. Stain. Looks like some kind of rot. Ah, <sighs> thank you. <laughs> uh Okay. Let's see. Broken plate. Looks like I need one more. I thought it was missing only one. <laughs> Alright, so we got the valve for that steamer. <laughs> Alright, now... Let's see... Uh, okay, where, where, oh, wait. Combe didn't know what to make of the grotesque vision of the dead club. Was he dead, or was it all fiction? Was it all fiction? That could be important. So much. <laughs> okay. So, i wandering down these halls. Maybe I need to... Okay, the drawing room. Go through the library and small parlor to the drawing room. Okay. Go through here. And do here. Oh, I see. <laughs> I thought this was the art room. <laughs> okay, this is not the place I need to go. <laughs> That's Come. not where I need to go. <laughs> uh, let's see here. Uh, oh, 
Okay, sick. Where was that? Where was that art room again? It's wedged Wait. shut. Uh huh. It worked. <laughs> That's where it, where it was. I think I'm getting ahead of myself. I before we go in there and search for things, I need to find that art room. Come. Okay, let's see here. Stairwell. Maybe I go up here. Is it this room? Aha, uh -huh, this is it. Do I... Come, it... Oh, there's nothing here? Hmm. Okay, looks like I need some sort of tool for there. I thought I had something. Okay, never mind. Okay. I'm going every room to search the house. Gonna find a clue. Going to next room. To this one. What are we gonna find? Ooh. Thank you. Okay, huh? where am I? Uh, I'm gonna need a tool. Can I open this? Uh, hello. You must be. Detective Elizabetta? Conway. How good of you to come. Let me pour you a drink. What happened here? This place looks like it was hit by a bomb. <laughs> Welcome to the madhouse, Detective. Thanks. Did the ceiling just collapse? I heard it was something in the attic. Something that was supposed to happen, but didn't. How that could have such consequences is beyond me. The truth is, I don't know why the room looks like this. But I bet your friend Jeremy does. You know where I could find him? Oh, somewhere in his past, I suppose. He keeps going on about that mysterious dark man. I think he is hiding from him. Or maybe he's with him. I can't really keep up. I don't worry much. Take a look around this room. You may think it looks spectacularly devastated, but I just think it's finally found its stride. It fits Her perfectly voice is with the state of this place. Similar and its to uh, 
The same goes for the nonsense with Jeremy. In my eyes, we finally managed to match the wild ride inside all of us. Well, I'm, I'm not sure if it's the so actual voice actor well, you for this right. kind of character, Jeremy's but she sounds it? so much this like Lonet. A Good little bit you. from Cool World. Hope to see you again soon. Sort of. Yeah. Evening, Miss. I don't know what her voice actress is, but that voice tone sounds a lot like Lonette from Cool World. <laughs> <laughs> They've got really nice actors in there, but <laughs> the that uh, film is interesting. <laughs> it's much more mature than Roger Rabbit, kind of way. <laughs> and uh, Brad Pitt is in that one. <laughs> and. I don't know if I should take those. Oh! <gasps> oh my god. It's those actual treats in Louisiana, New Orleans. <laughs> my mom told me about those when she was on a business trip over there in New Orleans. It was really good, <laughs> she said. <laughs> Oh, so it is one of those um, scavenger hunts. <laughs> All right. I was like, is it there for eating or the collectible scavenger hunt? All right. <laughs> nice. We got a souvenir. <laughs> Man, how... I wonder what what it's like to be in the New Orleans. Oh. Can I get some more of that whiskey? Go ahead, detective. I don't think I can stomach any more anyway. Uh, take it easy, okay? Am I bothering you? On the contrary, detective. I enjoy watching professionals at work. <laughs> I'll I'll keep it professional. My professionalism. <laughs> well, I better get going. Well, oh, easy on the puffs. Don't take any wooden nickels. Uh, hope your health uh, will be good. <laughs> I... Uh, is there anything in there? And uh, nothing. <laughs> I don't think you want to... That looks highly dangerous. Uh, <laughs> I don't know what my client is paying me, but <laughs> this better be worth it, I suppose. <laughs> I can't go in there. Looks like it. This is an unstable tower. I hope somebody doesn't uh, cut those ropes. Do 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 do. <laughs> Drop the piano on him. A tune killed his brother. Dropped a piano on his head. Okay, so we got a medicine box key. Ooh, fancy. Fancy key. 
Where does it go? Looks like a key to a diary. <laughs> I need uh, that kind of me mechanism. What's this? Syringe? Huh. How do you hold those needles? <laughs> that, that's that gotta be an uncomfortable uh, position for your fingers by the looks of it. <laughs> I mean... Yeah. <laughs> I wonder if it's uncomfortable to hold those. I need the key. Medicine box key. Nope. Looks like I'm not getting any further with that one. Then let me double check what's in here. Gonna need something for that. That is blocked. Oh? No. There's more of that aggressive rot. Uh, okay. I, I thought this was clean, but it has like some sort of uh, a ruined atmosphere. Uh, what is that? Is that, is that wine? Okay. Looks like somebody was pouring wine for something. <gasps> ah! Oh, cool! We're back here! Okay, so... Okay, so I'm learning how to get around Ooh. here. Okay, so I unbolted some bolts from Grand Parlor. And, okay, we're getting somewhere. We're in the dining room. Let's see here. Uh, okay, so I need to make my way over to sitting room. So, how to do it? Hmm. Okay, let's see here. Maybe go up here and... Uh... Is this it? Uh, I don't think so. I'm going to Dr. Gray's apartment, so I don't have access for that. Yeah. Looks like I'm gonna need some keys for that. Okay, let me see what... Cool. All right. Oh, cool. Okay, I'm right over there. 
Okay, let's see here. So, the sitting room... Oh, uh, hang on. Uh... Oh, I see. Okay, so we go out here... ...to over here. <laughs> Which way? <laughs> Okay, here we go. Oh, there's something missing. So that's not the medicine box. I need a globe key for this. <laughs> Get a globe key. It's a globe. <laughs> uh, Tarashmas. Pardon the intrusion. Not in front of the kid! Sir! <laughs> Come on! <laughs> uh. What you got there? You drawing something? Nothing special. I'm just bored. Do I know you from somewhere? I remember you, Mr. Conby. From where? Don't touch that. Cassandra wouldn't like it. She wouldn't like it at all. Do you Sorry. Know she is? I'd rather not talk about it. It makes me upset. Besides, no, I'm sorry. she'll be back after the Feast of St. John. You think? Yep. Okay. It's all on the page, Mr. Conby. And many of them that sleep in the dust of the earth shall awake, some to everlasting life. And some to <laughs> shame and everlasting contempt. <laughs> All right. She's so precious. <laughs> I'm gonna go now, if that's okay. I don't like to stay too long in the same place. Mr. McCoffee might find me. Hey. Does he mean to you? Not everyone needs to be saved, Mr. Conby. You Surely the sun will come out tomorrow. Bet your bottom dollar that tomorrow there'll be sun. <laughs> Miss Beauregard, I picked up your medicine at the post office today. As you understand, it needs to be administered she by the She looks like Annie so safety. much. <laughs> I've put the box in Lottie's room for now. A little bit. I'm sure she will find you as soon as possible. Mr. Waits. Lottie's room for the medicine. Okay. So it looks like we're gonna have to find Lottie's room. Okay. Uh, what's this? Margrave liniment? Mar what is that used for? One of the several medicines prescribed to the author Cassandra Beauregard. This particular bottle contains an ointment for pain relief sold as the fourth version of the company's popular recipe. Okay, so it's a pain reliever. Hmm. Okay. So this is where Cassandra Beauregard ended up. For some reason, I thought she died years ago. Some some believe she would, but uh, with her condition, they're trying to keep her alive. Very carefully. Seems like she has trigger issues, I think. Very sensitive triggers. Oh. It's another one of those strange padlocks. It's one of those things again, <laughs> with the zo zodiac signs. Alright. 
So, uh... Okay, so I'm gonna have to try to make a note. So there's a Gemini sign. A Libra. Pisces. A Virgo. And Tauros. Okay. <laughs> Maybe there's another hint around here somewhere. There's more of that rod again. Like it's guiding me to do something. But what? If I find the full set of bottles, then maybe I can make something out of the stains of rot. Ah, oh, okay. I don't think I have everything I need. <laughs> don't worry, we'll find everything. I love, I love these book details. <laughs> So fantastic. <laughs> I love looking at those so many details on books. <laughs> oh. Wait, what does that say? Uh, bullhorn? Bullhorn, a magazine of literature, science, art, and politics, volume 12? <laughs> oh, Washington, uh, I'm not sure if it's so tiny, I think there's a J Auburn Street. <laughs> There's some uh, let uh, numbers in there. It's just so tiny. <laughs> La Tentation de Saint Doin. <laughs> okay. Ba -ba -ba. What about these keys? <laughs> These keys belong to somebody? Who leaves out keys? <laughs> it's either you need to hang them up or have them in your purse. It's either one of those options that you need to do with your keys. The, me <laughs> well, oh. the medicine bottles had stains of rot on the labels, suggesting some greater shape. They just needed to be put in the right order. But for what purpose? Uh, is it some sort of concoction to get rid of rot? Like, like some sort of substance that eats it away? <laughs> Oh, right. I, I need to look at the map. Okay, where am I going? Repair the decorative plate on the boiler. Find a combination for the lock. medicine box key okay so if I was a medicine box it's either 
somewhere for the bathroom? I think. Usually the medicine box is kept over in a washroom or a nurse's station for infirmary. But which room do, do they keep it in? Hmm. Okay, let's see. Uh... <laughs> I'm trying to figure out where I need to go. Do do <gasps> treatment room, of course. Okay, the treatment room. It must be there. Okay, so through the reception. Okay. Eh, don't mind me. <laughs> la 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 la. So this must be where they keep the medicine, Need right? The Maybe that's not it. Uh, am I in the right? Wait, nope. 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 I'm in the wrong place. I'm in the wrong place. I'm in the wrong place. <laughs> Okay, so here's the treatment. Dr. Gray's office. Uh. Okay, <laughs> I was like, do I need to go in there? I don't see a medicine box. Hmm. Okay. So the treatment room does not does not mean it has medicine in it. Uh Let me check in here. Here again. Let's see. I doubt I have any numbers for that. Huh. Okay, let's see here. Let's see. Hmm. 
Uh, let's see. Ba -ba -ba -da. Medicine box key. Maybe go this way. Uh, no, not that way. see a medicine box in here. Next. Okay. Is there a medicine box in here? This is not the area. Uh, maybe I go downstairs. Maybe go through here. Is that the medicine box? <gasps> yes! Alright. Now we're getting somewhere. One of the several medicines prescribed to the author Cassandra Beauregard. This particular bottle contains tablets said to relieve sore throats and contain two vital, two vital vitamins. Huh. She must know her stuff. Alright, Cassandra, don't mind if I borrow this. And I think... I need to go back into that room. She's gone. A brightness from afar. Oh, cool. You got it. Okay. <laughs> we got her diary. <laughs> I think we go here and out here, I believe. Uh, where is that room? <laughs> oh, go down here. Uh, hold on. Oh, 
I feel like I am so lost. Where am I going? <laughs> uh... Uh, let's see here. Do, do, do. Da, 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 da. Up upstairs. I think here. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> this place is so big. <gasps> ah. Okay. And now what? <laughs> Figuring out what stuff it does what, and I unlock stuff, and I'm like, ah, I did it. And now what? <laughs> the next part is. <laughs> so many things that you learn how to accomplish, it, and you're like, I did it. And the next part is, is something you have to figure it out. <laughs> Uh, would tell me that those were not cockroaches. <laughs> I thought they had a maid. <laughs> they do have a maid, don't they? Ooh! I thought that was a shell. <laughs> it's just a golden bell. Sorry, I... <laughs> Pardon me, I'm thirsty. I was trying to reach for my water. <sighs> yes, this is what I need. <laughs> And now we put this here. Do, do, do. Uh, can you rotate it? Oh yeah, I can. I did it! The lot made the shape of a snake. There must be something important to find here. Maybe it has something to do with the numbers on the labels. Oh, 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 oh. Uh. Two. Five. And seven. But. What is that number? What is that number? Two, five, seven, something seven. I feel like I need a closer inspection on that bottle, but I can't do that. Uh. Hmm. Looks like I'm gonna have to take a wild guess for the third number. <laughs> it's crossed off. Hello, Goku. Welcome in. Welcome, welcome. We're doing Alone in the Dark.
Okay, let's see here. Hold on, wait a minute. Uh... Two... Five... Seven... And... So, the map is saying... There's a solvable puzzle over there. That's where the... For this? Okay, let's see here. Uh, two, five, seven. Okay, so that's... A Pisces. I think I'm getting the hang of this and what it means. Gemini. And Leo. Wait. Yeah. Two, three, four, five for Gemini. Six, seven is Leo. Aha! Uh -huh. Yep, that's it. Got it! Ha ha ha! Broken plate. Alright. We got it. The combination. <laughs> okay, so I need to go to the boiler room. So I go down from here. I nope, that's the bathroom. <laughs> uh. Here, okay, we're doing good so far. Too far. <laughs> Here we go. Okay, hang on. Uh... Right, so I <laughs> uh, maybe I'll try to draw it for myself. <laughs> I'd like to take a picture, but I'll try to draw it. Okay, clouds over here. And looks like a tree. A little church that is over here. The sun. <laughs> One moment. <laughs> I'm trying to do a drawing <laughs> for the memory. <laughs> so I don't have to look at... 
and the squiggly roads. <laughs> okay. Now let's see here. Which piece goes which? That's it. Uh, I can't uh, take out the small pieces. So, uh, my guess is put the sun right here, but I can move it. Maybe like that. I think like that. No, wait, the... These have to be down here. There we go. The church down there. Like that. Like that. I think that. Like that. Aha! Oh my goodness. Numbers. <laughs> okay, the little one is five. Median is seven. And the larger one. <laughs> Is a nine five seven nine. All right. Okay. Oh, five six seven. There we go. Black glass. Somewhere in the cellar? 
Must be a way to another one of Jeremy's memories. All right. Next part of the portal. Whoo! Where are we going? Cemetery. I knew it. I knew it would work. You're getting good at this, Carnby. Maybe a little too good at this. <laughs> and here I am, <laughs> just a behind you <laughs> to guide you. <laughs> So this is what New Orleans uh, cemetery looks like. Huh. It would be cool to see the cemeteries in New Orleans of Louisiana. I wonder what it's like. Is it really haunted? <laughs> how fun will that be? Just how much of a strong uh, hauntings does it possess? Uh... Oh. Oh. I keep forgetting I need to hold it. Can I explore here? The Hartwoods family crypt. Emily's family must have deeper roots in New Orleans than I thought. I figured she was a Yankee like me. Uh, hmm. Let's see. At Multi Sepe Vera. Uh, how do you pronounce it? <laughs> Vaticinati? UT Cassandra. Hmm. What does that mean? Uh, huh. Uh, who is that? Is that, is that Jeremy? Huh. Uh. Only. Lies. Uh. The remains of those buried. Huh. Rest in peace. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I can't even read anything <laughs> of these. That crumbled uh, slates. Slabs. I feel like something, well, do I bring that over there? Uh, before I do that, let me explore just a little bit. Oh, right. <laughs> There's something here. Got some ammunition. Okay. <gasps> what? I haven't even started anything yet. <laughs> okay. Looks like I'm I'm taking this. The blessing. What's this? <gasps> you better move. Oh my god. Here. 
Oh god. Oh god. Wait, there's something in there. Excuse me. Yoo-hoo! Mofos. Over here. Come here. Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, come here. Ooh. Okay. Oh. Oh. So there was a drink over there. Aha. All right. <gasps> oh God. <laughs> You're persistent, aren't you? Oh god. Ow. <laughs> Come on. Oh gosh. Get off me. <laughs> oh gosh. Ah. <laughs> Come on, sir. Oh god. Oh god. <laughs> Fatal error. Wait, load most recent save? Wait, how much of this it does it mean? What does it mean? Okay. <laughs> I'm still in conflict to either fight them or avoid them. <laughs> Okay. Oh god. I'm trying to <laughs> ring around the rosy with this one. <laughs> Okay. Yep. It's time to move. Oh god. Oh god. No. Okay, come on. Oh god. He's like so slow in that stuff. I mean, what do I do? <laughs> this is so many things I'm in near death situation and this is the only <laughs> deal to Oh, got two two drinks. <laughs> nice. I'm gonna sketch this chapter in the book, so it must be important. Looks like I'll need more medallions to open it though. Okay. I don't think I have everything I need. Uh. <laughs> I mean, come on. How good is your hearing? Go away! Oh, come on. <laughs> I mean, seriously? <laughs> come on. Get off of me. 
Oh, come on. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> How do I move faster? <laughs> I'm pushing down on the left stick. <laughs> Oh gosh. Oh god. Wait, what? Wait, where am I? <laughs> where am I? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I was trapped in there. <laughs> it's like, what happened? <laughs> I got switched places. <laughs> Yo, I don't even know what's happening. <laughs> okay. Okay, I got five drinks. <laughs> uh. Okay. Go, go, go. <laughs> ah, come on! Stop it! Oh god. Oh god. Oh my god. <laughs> How is it it's okay for them to get past that uh, swamp area easily? And <laughs> Oh god. Oh pancakes. Oh god. <laughs> now where do I go? Uh Oh over here. Yeah, I don't even want to deal with them. <laughs> uh, okay, so I need to find a circular disc. Looks like I created a shortcut. Thank you for the drink. What is that sound? Uh, what is that sound? <laughs> If I'm quiet, I'm a little nervous here. Yeah.
Oh. <gasps> Shit. Oh God. Time to run. Time to run. Out here. Oh god. <laughs> oh. Crap. Okay. Mr. Mr. Where's the exit? Uh, yeah. Hi. Oh wait. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> yeah. Jeez. Now where do I go? Over here? Oh god. Wait, so... Uh... Oh, there we go. <laughs> and now... Yeah! Something there. Oh, too many of them. I gotta get out of here. Oh, crap. <laughs> Whoa. Oh, God. <laughs> hope I didn't miss anything important. To the left. Did I miss anything important in there? Oh, nope. Nope, 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 nope. Get it? The sacrifice. What do we got here? Uh, can I go back? Looks like I'm not missing anything important in here. 
Okay. Oh. Oh boy. Thank God that's over. That certainly got my heart pounding. <laughs> okay, so where do I go? This doesn't look good. Huh? Oh dear. Cassandra. Cassandra Beauregard? Oh no, who did this to you? Oh. So that was Cassandra. Okay. All right. So apparently there's some pieces that I need to fit. Hold on. So what am I doing with these circles? Let's see. Uh. Oh, I have to swap it. Uh. So. Maybe this? Uh, let's try it out. Wait, I think it needs to be like this. like this and that has to be on top I get it now there we go three circles Camelot Camelot rings what in the world excuse me Please don't touch her. Jeremy. What are you doing here? Everyone's looking for you. 
I know, it, it's all a big mess. No one understands. I, I'm just trying to keep even with Bay. Just for a little while longer. You've got to come back with me. Your niece is waiting at Dorsetto. Emily? Emily. Why would she... My letter. I keep making it worse. What is going on, Jeremy? How is any of this happening? I made, I made a terrible promise with someone. The Dark Man. Who is he? No, 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 don't say his name. He can hear us. He's always listening. <gasps> Jeremy, what? I need to understand what is going on. I promised him everything. When the sun rises, I will be chained in his sunken desert temple for an eternity. But at least the evil about to awaken in Dissetto won't harm anyone outside of that course of plays. You're acting crazy, Jeremy. I want to help. There's nothing you can do. Then what's all the business about Teruea? Why did you want to go there? Well, I can't go there. Not allowed. But you wanted to. Can I go? Tell me, will it help me to break your pact? Is there something there that would help? Why would you give me hope? That's so cruel. Okay. Sounds like we're on to something here. Just do it for your What should I oh, Behind you! Run! Don't let him take you! What is it? Oh. <gasps> Holy. The lady's on the bed. Buy everything. All right. I've seen so many strange occurrences lately. Memories explode into existence and then burn out like tide glass bulb filaments. Dreamscapes crash down from the stars and sink into the sea. Doors that lead to <laughs> Talk nowhere, about a nightmare on Elm Street kind of dimension. With all this reverie, I want to think there's a chance that you found a way to remain alive in some way I cannot fathom. Just like I've learned to navigate with my talisman. Maybe you, with all your knowledge, you somehow knew a way. A way to find me again. Perhaps in Terroria. Oh, my love. Jim. Huh. That's fancy paper. Found and lost. Jay Hartwood. So, Jeremy Hartwood. Huh. She's dead. <gasps> no matter how she died, she looks peaceful now. Huh. No wonder it was, like, pretty much empty. That was for the purpose? Uh... Okay... Uh, not that one. There it is. Here we go. Barlow lens. I know where that goes. <laughs> All right. Why would he lock that up? Use the telescope. Uh, wait, hold on. Uh, okay, okay. Jared. Oh. Jeremy had found a way to enter Terraway, but he wasn't allowed to go. He knew deep down that it was impossible for him to cross that threshold. Instead, he hoped that Perosi would go in his place and burn his library to the ground so he could start again. But she never got the chance. Perosi had her own problems, her own demons, 
and she died suddenly one day without warning. Holding the telescope lens in his hands, Detective Combe suspected what it was, at least a part of the key to that paradise Jeremy so desperately wanted to seek. Curious what he would find, he felt eager to put the lens to use. Okay. Let's see here. Uh, right to the drawing room. So it must be down downstairs. Uh, this way. And this way. I need the key. Okay. Go through here. Over here. And to this. <laughs> oh. Whoa. Ooh, <laughs> what do we have? <laughs> A big puzzle. <laughs> Can I rotate it? Mostly I just make it go side to side. Oh, I see. <laughs> uh, let's see here. Okay. Maybe this over here? Hold on. I think and I believe that goes there. Right there. There we go. And nope. Aha. Uh -huh. <laughs> uh. No wait. There we go. Nine four one. 
Whoa, what's going on? It's dialing in something all on its own and it's showing the way to another memory? Where is that? The dining room. How cool. He stops like right there. There was like nothing there and I walked into something invisible. Okay, so I went... How to get to that uh, dining room? Aha! Uh -huh. Here we go. Here we go. On the common place of evil, there lies virtue and stark irreverence, careless thoughts of luminous indifference. But blame not the beast we once were, which science so often wished to refer. Mm. Not the wicked full of sin. It is you who stand and grin. All our good intentions aside, whereupon we build our pride. Sunless solitude, follow not this corrupting light. Prophets of confidence always crashes out of sight. Hear me, for we all bear this mark. Thus we must remain. Alone in the dark. <laughs> nice poetry. Someone must have been a poet. So, oh, I go through that door. Okay, here we go. <gasps> Wait, that was all chapter two? <laughs> We're in for a chapter three. Hello. I'm glad to see you made it. I had my doubts, but the hope you instilled has yet abandoned. I guess this must be Tarawea. Who are you? My name is Juan Luis Jorge, and this Juan Luis is indeed the kind of Tarawea. You'll have to excuse me, but Yermi never got your name. The name's Edward Carnby. I'm a private investigator. You're not a patient, are you? No. I'm the author of a book that Yermi once found important. How does that work? Are you part of this memory as well? Is this even a memory? I think calling me a manifestation of Yermi's subconscious would be more correct. And so is the convent of Tarawaya. I'm a man Yermi has never met. And we are in a place that he has never been. Okay. So are you here to guide me or something? I have no more purpose than you do. I simply am. I will happily help you, of course, if I'm able. If you are already somehow part of Jeremy, why did he want to come here? Isn't he sort of here already? Jeremy wanted to come here because it's a representation of his mind at peace. When Dr. Gray asks him to find his focus during his sessions, this far-flung convent is what Jeremy imagines. He is under the impression that if he could physically come here, he would reach a perfect equanimity. A spiritual apotheosis. You don't think it would work? Jeremy subconsciously knows it's just wishful thinking. He can't come here. Despite the pathways opened by the dark man between their Seto and Jeremy's psyche, it's simply not possible. But I'm here. <laughs> Indeed. 
It's a shame it's just another place for you, detective. Otherwise, you could have become a Buddha. Always a bridesmaid, never a blushing bride. Am I right? <laughs> <laughs> yes, I suppose so. You'll have to chase enlightenment elsewhere. So what's the next best thing? What can I do here? You should seek out the convent library and try to find the truth about Yermi's relationship with the Dark Man. It's the sort of knowledge he represses and is unable to reflect on. Will it tell me how to break the pact? Perhaps. At least you'll have something to confront Yermi with. Wait, why can't you just tell me? I don't know such things. You'd be better off consulting the text of Dr. Freud if you want such answers. <laughs> no thanks, I hate shrinks. There is another thing you should know about the library. He is here as well. The Dark Man has been working his way through the text for a long, long time. He's here? How am I supposed to get past him? Be careful, detective. Oh, jeez. Just perfect. <laughs> This is so good. <laughs> That's so amazing. <laughs> that uh, it's like there is a philosopher going between worlds, or someone who has a sense of what's going on, and he feels spiritual about it. And there's like a skeptic uh, uh, cop who thinks uh, there is a logical explanation. And everybody's trying to warn him about what he needs to do. And he's like the impatient person just to figure out how to deal with the situation. <laughs> kind of. Uh, how the mystery is laying out. <laughs> There's always those people that are trying to warn those who are skeptics because that's how uh, the conversation of uh, the point of view of what's going on <laughs> that the out, some sort of new people, or how should I say? Uh, hmm. I I tried to um, make a point that <laughs> there's so many obstacles that people that are impatient that must uh, have a course to uh, step lightly to avoid the difficult path so you can get through the path with ease, you know? <laughs> All right. <laughs> you have any advice I hope on how I to deal with the dark man? explain it right. <laughs> I suppose suppression could work. Try not to pay him any attention. I know you said Jeremy's never been here, but does this place exist in real life? I think it's supposed to be Mexico. But I am not certain of that away its origin. Well, good to meet you, Juan. I'm going in. May the gods be with you, Edward de Vilban. Nice, nice meeting you, though. Okay. Okay, let's uh, see what we got here. We got that way. Uh, looks like there's this one. Looks like I'm not getting to that one. <laughs> looks like this is the only option. <laughs> Uh, 
Okay, this is quite a library. Ah. I wonder if this is a library that monks and <laughs> wizards tend to use. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I hope you're drinking your milk, sir. <laughs> okay. I'm not sure if this is another dimension or <laughs> this is. Absolutely another path of a spiritual kind. Mm. And it's a good kind of spirituality. <laughs> a, a portal world. What is this place? Uh, what, what does the tap tapestries mean? Better not get in that water. <laughs> God knows what's in it. Uh... Wait a minute. Is that supposed to mean like a gentleman's club and no ladies allowed kind of way? Uh, uh hmm. What does what does that mean? <laughs> uh, there's something missing. A hollow cross? All right. Looks like I'm gonna have to find some sort of mechanism, cross, or something to insert it inside there. The, the great library. The great library it was endless. Beautiful and terrible. An Akashic record for the universe. Inside the mind of Jeremy Hotwood. Now corrupted by a story forced upon him. Told by a maniacal liar. An Lock evil away. conjured by science and secrecy. I will suspend a room and lock the away the foundation key. of his character. It's left to the left librarian. librarian. The only thing invisible to the prowler. Okay, so it's saying something's locked away. And the key is left with the librarian. Looks like I'm gonna have to find a key to some place. But who is the librarian? And where's the storage room? Okay. Let's go up here. Whoa. Okay. Oh. Is that the cross? Uh. I guess that lowers it. 
a ladder to nowhere. <laughs> Pardon me, but do you mind if I borrow this? Thank you very much. Oh god. <gasps> oh shit. Why do you have to manifest your worst fears, Jeremy? Oh god. Oh god. Yep, we're gonna have to go. Oh my god. Yeah. Oh gosh. Yeah. Where do I go? Oh god. How am I gonna get around him? <laughs> uh, sir, can I go? <laughs> it... No, what do I do? Okay, so I need him to go this way. All right, here we go. Here we go. We juke him. We juke him. Yeah. No, okay. Yeah, go, 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 go. You. No, no. Yes. Okay. Okay. Up, up, up. Up, up, up. Go, go, go. Move, move, move. Yeah, woo, go. <laughs> woo. Why is there so much art that he's leaving the trail? <laughs> uh, what did that do? Uh, uh, go, go, go! Uh, <laughs> sorry, I'm panicking. <laughs> this is crazy. Okay. That was a whole lot of uh, uh, men farting in that <laughs> in that library. <laughs> Ooh. What was that man eating? <laughs> Okay, so now my question is, we made it here, do we need to go to that elevator? Uh, just how do I do it? Okay, okay, here we go. Uh, 
Ah, oh, here we go. Open says me. It was in the hot autumn that I went through the night with the restless crowds. He was a kind of itinerant showman who held forth in public halls and aroused widespread fear. The New Orleans address of the event is lost, but I remember distinctly the Prext shipping company pressing their contribution. Oh. Hey. Get your head out of the books. This is what? <laughs> Uh oh. <laughs> Detective! What? What? Whoa. I hope you found what you were looking for. I fear there is no hope. I was so close. There must be something I can work with. Come on, Carby, think. Yeah. Think. The shipping company. Prext. Right. What? Good luck, detective. Wait, what? What is he trying to mutter? It's like he's trying to think of something that was what he found. <laughs> Thank God you're here, detective. Sitting all alone in a place like this. I'd never live it down if the papers got wind of it. Hey. Ruth, right? Oh, don't pretend you don't know. I'm sure you have a whole file on me by now, detective. I suppose we weren't formally introduced. I'm Ruth Talon. Miss Ruth Talon. Oh, in case Ruth. You know. Not Edward Elizabeth. Enchanté. Are you sure? I need to I remember <laughs> who's who. Nice. It's good. I know. I have great taste, detective. I heard you're trying to break Jeremy's promise to the dark man. Yeah. Do you know anything about that kind of stuff? No. But it makes you wonder. If he made a promise, can't he simply stand by his words? Look, I'm just trying to get Jeremy out of a bad deal, so he'll come back with us to New Orleans. Well, if all fails... What are you doing? <laughs> it's a sign of submission to the dark man. I <gasps> saw it in a dream once. Excuse what? me? What? Madam? You got something to do with this? I feel like she's part of in on it. You don't know the Prex shipping company by any chance. I do. They made big money during the war. Pricks. Their waterfront office is just There's over there. There's that word again. How did you do that? Do what, detective? Bon chance. Hold the phone. Hey, have you seen Emily Hartwood anywhere? Are you trying to make me jealous, detective? No, I haven't seen your doll anywhere. Who is she? Excuse me? I... Who is she? It's like... I'm not sure if she's in on something. Or she's the voodoo priestess we're... We're trying to look into.
Could she be Miss Jackson in disguise? I... I'm not sure, but I have a feeling if she does that... She must be in on something. Or she's a voodoo priestess in disguise. <laughs> I'm not sure, but I... I feel like I just... <laughs> Yo! That would be crazy if that hunch was correct. Yeah, I know. You never know. <laughs> I love that you look into this. Even though you feel like you have a hunch on something. And they spin on s something else. <laughs> Yo! <laughs> oh my gosh! Alright. Okay, so we could... We got a matchbook. Uh, what did it say? The... The Macarena? <laughs> Uh, how do you pronounce that? Uh, wait, can, can I look into those? No, once I look into things... <laughs> the Macarena. <laughs> uh, how do you pronounce that? Macabeano? Macab... Macabean? <laughs> <laughs> the Macarena. Macarena. Okay, so uh Is there any clues around here that to be searching? Oh my god! <laughs> yeah. Hell to the fucking no! <laughs> yeah. Help! There must be another way inside. Yep! Help! <laughs> Ole! <laughs> Do do do. Oh god! Oh, pickaxe! Point! Point! You! Out of my way! You! Oh god! You! You! Oh my god! Go, go, go! Go, 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 go! Holy! Go, 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 go! Nah, shit! <laughs> Give me the key! Steve Doors key. Okay, thank you. Bye! I'm out of here. Fight this shit, I'm out! <laughs> It tells me this was a bad idea. <laughs> ah, typewriter ribbon. <laughs> oh god! Oh god. I don't have any drinks for days for this. <laughs> oh. oh god. Holy... 
I don't even know it if I'm going the right place. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> sir, <laughs> I'm so sorry. Who, <laughs> <laughs> oh boy, okay. Let's be quiet. <laughs> oh, hell no. <laughs> I think I got the upskirt shot from that <laughs> angle. to go that way? Indeed I do! <laughs> okay, let Hold on, hold on! Hold on. <laughs> I don't want to make any noise. Surely I can juke him. <laughs> Silently. Ooh. Okay, now I just... Yes, yes, yes. Hold on. <laughs> Ideas coming. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Cleverness. Anything over here? Nope. Okay. Oh boy. Drink galore. Oh boy. Yeah, I'm drinking. <laughs> uh, pardon me while I <laughs> uh, get myself cozy in this drinking. All right, made it inside the warehouse. <laughs> Shipment compartment. The office must be upstairs. <laughs> Pricks. We found the import. Uh, is that the breathing? <laughs> uh. Ooh. Ooh. Severed horn? Or is it severed horn? What? Why is it called that? I'm confused. Why would they call a horn that? Huh. Is there anything over here? I suppose not. Why do I have a feeling there's something up there? <laughs> Let's just be stealthy, just in case. Okay. We do it nice and steady. Why do I have a feeling there's something sleeping in the box? <laughs> That's 
much as you like to party and this and uh, uh, alcohol shipment at warehouse, <laughs> you might want to be careful if there's anything sleeping in the boxes. <laughs> you never know. <laughs> Fair warning. <laughs> Inspect the box. <laughs> Always inspect your boxes. Ooh. Ooh, wait. <gasps> Ooh. Oh, he's gonna love yeah, it. I always wanted to try one of these. <laughs> All right, Tommy gun, of course. <laughs> uh. uh, there's a safe here, but what's the combination? All his things. Our ship was raided while in dock. All of his things were recovered, but blood was shed. What is Several left? Later is right, River. and hell is More back again. I want to live in the deep. All items have now been signed and delivered. Now let's keep the papers safe. For what later is hell? <laughs> later is right, hmm. and hell is back again. Our shipment was raided while in dock. All of his things were recovered, but blood was shed. Several men were carried into the Mississippi River, drowned by those drowned by the ones who live in the deep. All items have been signed and delivered. Now best keep the paper safe. Okay, what is left? Later is right. And hell is back again. I'm trying to write down lo notes. Okay, so what I get is for the highlighted words, does it mean it has to be the numbers of the combination? Like W H A T is four, so four left. L A T E R is five right and f four left, I think. <laughs> I'm just taking a wild guess. Uh, let, let's see how, if we can try that. Okay, left. Oh, uh... There we go. <laughs> Cargo manifest. Cargo manifest on September 19, 1892. Black shipping company delivered Black four steamer trunks, one Egyptian sarcophagus and a large wooden crate belonging to the showman called the Black Pharaoh, performing at Gaitin Street. Uh, 
item list, four steamer trunks, props, one sarcophagus, Egyptian coffin, one large wood crate, stage decor. Huh. Hmm. What are they trying to get at? Here we go. The address where Jeremy first encountered the Dark Man. Some uh. oh. Somehow, Combe was back in New Orleans. Close to the docks, he could smell the pungent aroma of the Mississippi River. In front of him was the Prext Shipping Company. According to the book in the library, he should find the address to where Jeremy first met the dark man inside. All right. Thank you. <laughs> uh... Okay. So I can leave from here, right? I hope. From the out out front door. Or do I go back from the sewers? <laughs> Hmm. Uh, let's see here. <gasps> oh, God. Ah, oh, jeez. I can't leave. Oh god. Ugh. Looks like I'm gonna have to fight. Oof. Oh. Looks like the fog cleared up. Okay. All the way across the street from here. Huh. Curtains will look f fetching. <laughs> what? Oh, I thought it was going to be something else. So it looks like a theater. You want to tell me what this is all about? Welcome, detective. To the greatest show this side of the Mississippi. Now the hotel, the Black Pharaoh, the ancient magician who lived a thousand lives and wore a thousand masks. I can see why you settled on calling him the Dark Man. Saves your breath. So you got scared by a stage magician, and now he's living inside your head. 
You can mock me, detective. But you would be the crazy one to think his presence can be ignored. Mm. Look where we are. We didn't get to finish our last conversation, did we? You were about to tell me how to break the contract with the Dark Man. No, we can't. We would turn to loose on the world. So many innocent would die. But there is a way to break out of the deal. There is. You offered me a way out. Steps to take. What are they? You'll never find them. They're forever entombed in his sunken desert temple. Jeremy, I'm not your enemy. Tell me where to go. How do I find the temple? No, we can't. I have to make this sacrifice. Oh, gosh. Oh, God damn it, Jeremy. I'm going to save you. Don't worry. Why the dramatic stuff? I didn't save someone who doesn't want to be saved. Well, he's gonna get saved no matter what. I just need to find the temple. It's somewhere. like he's afraid of his own hallucination or something. Oh, oh my gosh. Okay. Uh. So we we got Gemini. Uh, I'm not sure what this symbol is. And we got a Pisces. Hmm. Wait, wait, wait. Okay. I get it. <laughs> okay, so, uh, the Gemini is five. And, oh, Virgo is eight. And Pisces is two. Okay. Ba -ba -ba. Oh, <laughs> there we go. Uh, let me start with the middle. It was eight. So five and hang on. Uh... 
Hmm. Hold on. <laughs> Let's see here. Wait, uh, not that one. Okay. Yeah. So. Yeah, Pisces. Pisces is two. And Gemini. Five. And Virgo. Is eight. So my question is Do I do that in order or Or is that in order? But which one? Uh what is what does it mean? Uh, hmm. Maybe I'll try to do circles. Yeah, like... Hmm. Okay. Let's see if I got this. So the outer ring is eight. Wait, something like that? I'm not sure if this is gonna work. Nope. <laughs> okay, hold on. Eight. Wait. Uh, hold on. Hmm. 
Hmm. Okay. Uh. Okay, f five, two, eight. But that's not it. Hmm. Uh, let's see here. And I'm going to have to try to figure out <laughs> combination. <laughs> okay, so we did. Five, two, eight. Eight two five eight five two nope. Eight five two Let's see. Hey Tiffany, welcome in. <laughs> welcome, welcome. We're doing Alone in the Dark. <laughs> I try to figure out how to solve this. Okay. Five eight two. And that's not it. Uh, what is it? So it has to be something. Hmm. 
Okay. Yet it's still not those numbers. Just... What do I do? Hmm. The address of the event where Jeremy first met the dark man surprised Pompey. Uh. The infamous Gallatin Street didn't exist any longer, and he wondered if he would be able to find the right building. Was it still standing? Did it matter? Maybe this world was not just another place, but another time as well. Hmm. Open the sarcophagus. Find the zodiac markings on the talisman socket. The symbol on the outer ring corresponds to the outer ring on the talisman. Uh. Surely there has to be a clue. Hmm. Let's see. Hmm. Okay. Uh, 
Hmm. Hold on. But I did five to eight. Maybe I'll try this. I could try every combination. <laughs> There we go. I knew I'd get it. <laughs> Someday. <laughs> okay. Time to open the sarcophagus. Woo! Are, are you serious? Holy... Narnia. <laughs> Okay, where are we going? <gasps> is is that a eclipse? Is it a, a solar mm. eclipse or a lunar eclipse? But it's like the sun is being blocked out by the moon. This is unbelievable. What are those? Someone unleashed the mummy's curse. <laughs> This is a video game for the mummy, indeed. <laughs> this is incredible. <gasps> get down there. <laughs> snakes. Why did it have to be snakes? <laughs> this is something. Hello? Got some rope. Alright, we're getting somewhere. And... Beyond the Nile Valley. Could the you? temple of Nephron lies under our camp. Despite all efforts, that unholy site did not collapse, but sink beneath the sand. The pharaoh is long dead, his name meticulously stricken from all ancient writing. But that stage for blood and terror remains. The temple is said to be lightless, built to harbor all the haunters of the dark found in the very depths of our universe. Calling on the gods and creating a bridge between our world and theirs. The terrible Aldebaran of Taurus, the Black Sun, was seen as the most important star in the night sky. Because, according to the Kitab al mm. it was said to be the home of that crawling chaos known as Nyalahotep. Through ancient mechanisms, it was said that the priests could open shafts channeling the light emitted by that strange stone called the Shining Trapezohedron. Several streams pulled together above the statue of that dark man, would then be sent Open through space towards the black channeling sun. the light. A message to the gods. 
The gifts bestowed on the sender are completely undocumented, but often assumed to involve dark blood pacts, where souls are traded for malicious miracles. Okay, so several streams pool together above the statue of that dark man would then be sent through space towards the black sun for that of a message of the to the gods huh streams pull together uh Black Sun, okay, is the eclipse. Uh, all right. Whatever that riddle is going to lead to. <laughs> Okay, let's get to business. Go down into the hole. Is it gonna attack? Okay. <laughs> I wasn't quite sure if it was gonna attack. Okay. Here we A go. rope. Awesome. Yeah, nice and easy. Nice and easy. There you go. Oh. Did the rope break? Yeah. Star constellation from one of Jeremy's books. The Taurus. Taurus. The star's clearly bigger. Must be important. Okay. Canopic jar. Okay. Okay, what do we got? Huh? Nothing in there? Uh, okay, next. I got a feeling that this is it. This is where the contract is hidden. But how do I get to it? Uh. Hmm. Okay. Let's see here. The dark man's temple is buried beneath the sand. A cursed and dark place. Every step felt ill considered. Used the Convo temple needed mechanism to, find to reveal the contract, the contract that Jeremy signed with the dark man and get the hell out of here before he went completely mad. Combi felt confused by the place. Combi found himself in a vast and dark desert. He had suddenly had his share of strange happenings this evening. But the thought <laughs> of walking through the land of Tutankhamun was definitely challenging his last bastion of disbelief. Hmm. Okay.
Okay, think, think, think. Just... What, what can I do? Uh, let's see. Ah, okay. Oh god! <laughs> oh gosh! What are those things? <laughs> well, sir, you did say you want to try that Tommy gun. <laughs> and you did. <laughs> okay, so next, I need to direct those beams. Uh. Uh, how do I do that? Uh, will those beams hurt me? I don't want to find out. Uh, let's see here. sure if I can shoot something over there. Yeah, that's a bust. <laughs> uh, oh, wait a minute. What? Uh, wait. Ah, oh, this opened up. I wasn't quite sure if it... <laughs> oh, wait, huh? I thought there was something gonna come. Okay, nothing in there. Okay. Nice and easy. This place looks like it's gonna fall apart. Hmm. There's something missing. Gonna need a lens. Aha! Uh -huh. Alright. And I think I place it here. And now. This? Aha! Uh -huh. This one looks operational. Nice. Oh, that's so cool. Do I take that with me? Uh, it's not letting me take it. I guess that's its purpose. <laughs> this is too cool. It's like you're in the mummy. <laughs> of the movies. <laughs> oh, I need to direct these beams. <gasps> oh god! Oh god. Uh. Is there any more? <gasps> it hurts them. <laughs> oh. 
Oh oh. <lacht> Whoops. <lacht> äh. I won't go down a little bit lower. Okay, I think that works. Ah, oh, damn it! <laughs> okay, got one. And a two. Haha. Uh -huh. Okay. Anything over here? Let me check up here. Oh. Is there anything over here? Ooh, children of a dark sun. Wait. Did I get it? Children of the Dark Sun. Uh, where is it? it? Did I collect it? Oh yeah, there it is. Children of the Dark Sun. Oh, can I go over there? Uh, I feel like that's not what I'm gonna... Hold on. <laughs> can I... Can I see what happens? Ooh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I have to go over there very carefully. <laughs> Please don't crumble. <laughs> <laughs> this is too cool. <laughs> this is such an incredible adventure game. <laughs> uh hmm. Oh, it, it doesn't have Ah, nuts. Is there anything over here? Ooh. Oh, that's the throwing stuff. Can I check up here? Okay, <laughs> hold on. Looks like I'm gonna have to go to this room that is open. Because <laughs> there's nothing I can do. Oh god. <laughs> Snakes. <laughs> huh, I wonder if I <laughs> Boink it! <laughs> Yeah, point stuff. Eh. Eh, come on. Is there anything in here? Okay, let's see here. Oh, the lever, crack. Okay. The star. Stars. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> Good lord. <laughs> Anything in here? Ooh. What's this? Edzy. Edzy. Hmm. Okay. Ooh, this looks effective. <laughs> it's effective tool for <laughs> having a one KO boink. <laughs> Okay, let's see here. So I got a star. What was that? What was that? <laughs> I know there was a creature out here. Okay, let's see here. I don't know if the star goes to th that one, I believe. Because I have to direct beams for the room t to connect the rays. So... That only goes over there. Maybe it does go up there. <laughs> I'm just trying to figure out uh, what I have in my pocket that goes... Does the star go to this one? Can it go... To Oh gosh. Shut it. <laughs> God, what a screamer. <laughs> okay, so... Now I go down. Hey Resident Gigi, welcome in. Welcome, welcome. We're doing more of... Alone in the dark. You gone. Ah. Uh. Gonna make it go in here. What? It doesn't affect them? It doesn't affect them! Ah, you cheaters. <laughs> oh god! <laughs> oh gosh. Yeah. Oh god! Yeah. Oh gosh. Ah! Oh no! God, I was doing so well. <laughs> oh boy. Okay. Oh god, there are spiders. Okay, where's the lever for this? Okay... Hey. I still got my shovel. Okay, here's the lever.
Uh. Uh. Did I open something? Okay, uh, it activated something. This is too cool. There we go. Awesome. <laughs> okay. But how did the creatures not get a Affected by those beams. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Oh gosh. Come on. Oh gosh. Eek. Oh gosh. Okay. Oh, that looks so gross. <laughs> if I'm in a different dimension, <laughs> might as well get it over with. <laughs> I mean, who knows what's going on in my head. <laughs> okay, so next... I need to direct the beam... to... The next one? But which one? Oh, that one. Up there. Okay, I go... Over here? Up here? Uh, let's see here. Underworld. <gasps> ah, okay. Okay. Uh, so I need another beam of light to do something. Maybe I go the other side. Okay. Okay. I see. Okay. Yeah, I need to direct all those beams.
Is this the quickest route I can go? Hmm. Uh. <laughs> One moment, everybody. <laughs> Okay, now we just need one more. Okay. Oop. Huh, there we go. And now... I go up to the top of the head. The streams of light. <laughs> now I get it. Ba -ba. On top of the statue's head. Now we bring it all the way down. Uh, what's <gasps> Seriously? I better hurry. <laughs> Go, 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 sir. Oh, gosh. Oof. Oh, God. <laughs> Hello. Hello? <laughs> this is ready to collapse. Oh god. <laughs> Can't waste another minute. Oh god. Let's get it. <laughs> uh, part of me. Sir, now is not the time. Psychological trauma, breakthrough barriers of self deceit, tempermanic behavior. These are the dark man's terms. The contract. Contract. Yeah. Yeah, uh, you better get out of there. No. Yeah, <laughs> uh, let me go. I suppose you'd better go with them. Whew, that was crazy. Hey. Hey, detective. Huh? Emily? What are you doing? Oh, I found something. Great. Was it alcohol? God, no. I just got the wind knocked out of me. I think I know how to break the contract with the Dark Man. What exactly does that mean? Everything going back to normal. Uh, alright. Uh, I found some more information on Dorsetto and the patients. There are some seriously strange things going on here. 
I'm pretty sure two of the patients are dead, and maybe even the clerk. I feel like I want to oh, yeah. do her side of the story well, next. <laughs> just keep your eyes open, I suppose. What were you doing again? Jeremy made a pact with the Dark Man to keep all the madness locked inside Dracetta. All right. I'm gonna break it. I just have. To... Where is it? Where's the talisman? It's around, it's around your head. neck. Oh. Oh. Don't worry, detective. Don't, I'm fine. I worry that you're not much help on this case. But at least you're a good distraction. Trust me. You're getting your money's worth. At this rate, I'm an absolute bargain. I'm sure he's gonna need a bath after this. <laughs> <laughs> He does need to relax now. <laughs> okay, the dark man's contract. Okay. He must first acknowledge psychological trauma in order to proceed. The lying must stop so we can break through the barriers of self-deceit. Finally, Temper manic behavior. Hmm. Sacrificial dagger in demands. Medicine has failed me. Nothing can be done to dispel the hardwood curse. Only the sacrificial dagger may release the despair from Jacob's eye. Yet, doing so would be the doom of Dacetto. Let this case of mine be a weapon for once. I accept your demands. Oh, crawling chaos. Build your prison around this godforsaken hospital. When evil has been starved, I will stay buried forever. Okay. Wait, what's happening? Okay. <laughs> Is it certainly has changed the atmosphere indeed. <laughs> around here somewhere he wouldn't leave this house I don't know what thing anymore huh? you run into that dick belly who is he can he be trusted I think he wanted a good guy well you know not good will he be all right with her coming praise the mother <laughs> she don't even know about all that <laughs> uh oh just calm down ain't time yet <sighs> As far as I can tell, is she all right? Not causing. Just be ready in case he starts anything. What? What does she mean? Oh, uh, I'm confused. Am I still in another dimension? Uh... Uh... I mean... They were once... I met up with them only once when I was... or he was uh, going... Uh, under the dimension warp, and but still, I don't know what. Christ! What the hell was that? It's like something is emerging into the real world.
are, are those the real people? Preparations for St. John's. Have faith that Jeremy's pact with the Dark Man is a bluff. If we are lucky, our visitors will find him and prove it's all nonsense before night falls. What is true is our attempt to call on her. Too many things have happened for this evening to be in vain. Think of Jack and Cassandra, even Perosi, whose circumstances I can't understand. Grace is a goat without horns. She knows it and will play the role. Grace. You must talk to your brother, Batiste. I will Grace Saunders? Will Mrs. Thompson. Okay. Oh, Lunacy and the Astarte Artist Colony. Lunacy and the Astarte Artist Colony, a monograph by Yael Klein. In early 1909, the old Derseto plantation outside of New Orleans was yeah. turned into an artist's colony. Three famous European artists rented the house and the surrounding land from the owner, the Ledoux family. The colony Ledoux was chiefly family. run by Sebastian Cortez, who was playfully dubbed the captain by his collaborators, William Argus and Heinrich Castle. The colony existed for six years, until one day all 12 members disappeared without a trace. It is widely believed that their disappearance is connected to the disastrous hurricane that passed through on September 29, 1915, but nothing truly supports this claim. What is known is their frequent participation in New Orleans nightlife, their love for hosting parties, and their elaborate contributions to the Mardi Gras parades as the Pirates of Pontchartrain. Accounts of their lifestyle can be found in almost every gossip column. It can effectively be summed up as carefree and bohemian. In late June 1909, the name Astarte first appeared in the newspapers. Cortez said the name came to him as he was painting. There is never any claim to knowing about the ancient Phoenician fertility goddess with the same name before this time. His fellow colonist Heinrich Kassel did know because he later produced sculptures that show clear references to ancient mm. idols of the goddess. It's impossible to know for sure how this name suddenly made an appearance, but it is interesting because of their Seto's history. And then number two page. And the name okay. Seto is the Greek name of a Syrian fertility goddess. In the case of naming the plantation, their Seto was certainly not an accident. We know that Elijah Pickford intended to build a temple for his cult, for he had distributed pamphlets two years prior to the purchase of the land, advertising his intentions. His followers were estimated to be almost a hundred men and women, mostly sailors, maroons, and Cajuns, when the plantation was built. To outsiders, Dorsetto registered as an ordinary slave plantation, which enabled Pickford and his flock to remain hidden for decades. The official story is that the cult lasted until 1862, when the Union Army came and burned down the plantation and scattered all who lived there. Following wow. the Civil War, new people started to congregate in the ruins of Dorsetto to invent a new fertility goddess. The Shub Invent a new fertility as much goddess? As is a particular name to have heard of, it's not entirely uncommon among the learned. Astarte is equally known and could have been subconsciously chosen by well read artists. Shub Nigorath is, on the other hand, very uncommon. Almost impossible that anyone in Louisiana would have heard that name. The name is referenced only in rare books like Udnaus Preschlichen Kultin and the Necronomicon. Wow, and that's about the bastardization of Arabic words meaning pertaining to the dark young. The few paragraphs printed on the goddess are so upsetting that no one in their right mind would want to build a religion resting on such qualities. The Shub Nigarath cult was hard to get rid of, 
but it is believed that despite the police jailing and killing several cultists over the years, the main culprit in the cult's demise is the cult itself, which seems to line up with every instance of cult activity on Darseto's grounds. When Captain J.W. Norton of the Union Army arrived, he described the people at Darseto as malnourished and maniacal. Oh, as God. much as the army tried to save them, they fought back with fervor, as if nothing was going to stop them from slowly destroying themselves. While the disappearance of the Astarte Artis colony remains a mystery, the recurring motif seems to suggest that their fate involved lunacy and a hunger for self-sacrifice to that fertility goddess with a thousand names. Fertility goddess with a thousand names? Wow. Okay, so... The two, wait, oh. The two orderlies still hadn't found Jeremy. Conby figured this was good news. Emily had reminded him about some strange deaths at the Seto, and Conby wasn't sure who he could trust. Oh. So, we gotta act, act quickly discreet of for trying to figure out this mystery in order to catch the culprit before they could find Jeremy and there will be so many deaths around if they find Jeremy this could really mean uh, this would really be a end game if something would come to that conclusion. Oh boy. View is is that a onyx to that uh, dagger or obsidian? It looks like an athame. <laughs> Mostly daggers with like um, a good uh, 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 stone crystal to it. They're called athames. <laughs> Supposedly be used for rituals. They say for witchcraft and etc. spells. <laughs> it's like a it's good substitute for wands. They use athames. Uh, okay, where do I go? <laughs> where do I go? Objective. Oh yeah, break into Dr. Gray's office. Okay, okay. Uh, so that is locked. So my next uh, quickest uh, route could be... Not that one. It's blocked. That's blocked. Uh, library... Wait, I just tried that. Hang on. I can figure this out. I don't want to run into the orderlies right now. Not sure I can trust them. Oh, so they're up there. Uh Okay, can't go that way. That's the bathroom. Uh Okay, hold on. Did 
dining room. Looks like I go to go through dining room to the grand parlor. And out where? Uh Uh, I have no clue. <laughs> okay, that needs a key. Uh, okay. That that is blocked. I did, uh, uh ba -da -ba -ba. let's see. Here we go. Yeah. Okay, not that way. This way? Now we're getting somewhere. Okay. Oh, oh, oh. Kitty? Kitty? Is it still there? Aww. It doesn't like the rain. <laughs> Kitties don't like water. Ah, oh, no wonder. <laughs> what was that? Oh, the ladder fell. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, break into the doctor's office. Let's see if we can do that. That's <laughs> gotta find another way. There must be a spare key to Dr. Gray's office. I need the key. Spare key, huh? Open up the safe. Uh, but do I? I don't have the combination for this, but maybe Jeremy did. Jeremy? Uh, let's see. Anything from Jeremy? Mm. 
so uh, let's see Okay, let's see. Objectives. Uh, is there anything around here? Is there something up in here that has the combination or somewhere else? I mean... Anything about these have numbers? Hmm. I mean, there has to be something. I feel like I'm so nervous that I need to break into the office on a limited time. But what am I looking for here? I mean, there has... Uh, this eerie music is making me nervous if I'm on a time limit. <laughs> I really do. Uh, let's see here. Uh, okay. Okay, so we got a puzzle piece on that to save. So there has to be something I need to find a combination, but, but where, but where? Mm. I feel like the blue and the pink means something. Oh, is the pink mean I haven't, uh, Search thoroughly in those rooms. Uh, hmm. If 
I would have known. <laughs> I mean, there has to be something. <laughs> okay, okay. Maybe I need to search somewhere. Okay, which stuff is open? Okay, looks like I'm gonna have to check my map. Jeremy. So, if there's a combination here, he said that Jeremy would know. Speak to me, Jeremy. A clue? Gombe, I'm terribly sorry that my niece has pulled you into this mess. Please, with all my blessings, take her away from this cursed place. I have destroyed that eater of worlds and locked it away in the attic and retreated to a place of hiding. Tell Emily I'm safe. Tell her all the lies you can think of to make her listen. Take her back to Norlands. Sincerely, Jeremy. Okay, so he's desperate. Just to keep Emily safe. Understandable. But a letter's not gonna help. <laughs> if she's trying to persist on finding you. Uh, okay, so... Uh... But is there any numbers around here? How do I get into archives? Okay. Okay, next. Oh, a clue? Brother, I need you to trust me. This is the most important moment in our family's history. I know you have doubts and that the terrible Mama Loa told you lies. I would never betray you. Lies. Lottie. What is going on? Let's see here. Okay, so something in the sitting room. I need to go to the sitting room. Okay. Oh. Detective Condi. Good to see you again. Solved your case yet? Working on it. Hey, Grace, you okay? Oh, she is just peachy, Detective. Are you looking forward to the Feast of St. John, Grace? I can't wait! <laughs> Kids, ain't they great? 
What exactly are you planning for tonight? Oh, not <laughs> much. We eat, we drink, we pay tribute to the wishing tree in the conservatory. The usual. That then sounds like fun. Excitement? There is just something about tonight. Something's different. I think we all feel it. Besides, we got ourselves some new We all feel it? Rail, thanks to your buddy Jeremy. She'll come and turn the world inside out, and things will begin again. That sounds strangely threatening. <laughs> you should come. I think you need to shrink the mask a little bit more to suit your face. I'm just saying. Damn it, Grace, stay put for once. I'm just saying that uh, it looks a little too much of the length. I just uh, had a feeling she it needs to accent her face a little bit more to have the mask shrink. <laughs> just to show off her, uh, uh, make it show off cheekbones and, <laughs> yep. Yeah. Oh, first floor hall key. Seems like that guy is clumsy. <laughs> Better hold on to these. Wouldn't want them to get lost. <laughs> I'm just borrowing them. I'm sure. McCarthy was. Oh, I didn't mean McCarthy to. was a deadbeat. His mere presence annoyed Combi. It was like watching the worst version of himself mock him by simply being worthless. While Combi enjoyed watching the child outplay the drunkard. There was something terrifyingly familiar about Grace. It was Grace? him. Like he was supposed to remember, but couldn't. Huh. Okay. Now where do I go? Sitting room has some sort of stuff. Hold on, where is it? Okay, yeah, I am in here. Seems like there's m some more stuff. There's something missing. Okay, so I don't have that yet. And now I need to go to... Can I go in here? Okay, that's blue. Can I search in here for something? Movie script. Sorry, Cassandra, forgive me. Cassandra's last page. Jeremy knew that the only one who could help him now was the guest in room number three. The room seemed to have been room empty for so long. Three. But that wasn't allowed to be true. The story <gasps> Nine, one, needed three. to be different. To include something from the outside, he would bring the guest back to room three and show them what was in that safe. Nine, one, three. But those were not the right numbers. That was the combination for the safe in the clerk's office. But those were not the right numbers. That was a combination for the safe in the clerk's office. Nine one three. But what does that mean? Please forgive me, Cassandra. Anything? Okay, looks like I got everything. 
Sorry, Cassandra. Okay, next. Please forgive me. Uh, looks like I'm gonna have to find drawings by the looks of it. <laughs> How cute, the little jack in the box. <laughs> awesome. It popped out. This is a really amazing. <laughs> Little rocking horse. <laughs> Wait, why is there two beds? So, she must be sharing a room with somebody? Or what? Uh, I'm curious. <laughs> She's sharing a room with somebody at the house. Okay. Right, there's a puzzle piece in there. Okay. Oh, clerk's office. Okay, looks like I'm the office is now available for the safe to be solved. Okay. I suppose we did find a clue, but... Are those the numbers that we must need? Looks like we're gonna have to find out. Otherwise, I'm trying every combination possible. Okay. 913? Okay, let's see. Nine... One, three. Okay, here we go. Uh... Okay, so twelve, eleven, ten... Oh. Nine... One... There we go. Nice. Dr. Gray's key. A clue? The last guest in the empty room suffered from severe maladaption. I must write this down, because if I understand the condition sufficiently, it could make me deny this fact at a later date. And there is reason for me to think I may come to suffer the consequences from this dysfunction, as some who came in contact with the guest seemed to adopt a new world view, in which everything was predetermined but broken. Upon accepting this world view, some memories became unmanageable and later rejected. I do not know what this means. I cannot even remember the fate of the guest. I think they were simply misplaced one day and forgotten. Uh, just like all documents pertaining to this guest, they have all been destroyed, or they never existed in the first place. Who wrote this? There has never been a guest in the empty room. There has never been a guest in the empty room. Huh. Okay, let's see what we can find in the doctor's room.
Dr. Gray's office, all to myself. Let's see if we can figure this guy out. Okay. I have finished tidying up Miss Beauregard's belongings. I will leave it to you to contact her agent and have them collect her things. Grace's drawings? I found one of Grace's drawings she might want back, along with this key in her room, which I believe you've been looking for. Mrs. Thompson. Okay. <gasps> France. <laughs> Yoink. Okay. Ooh. Pirate treasure. <laughs> okay. This is where McCarthy has hidden my favorite young. It's very important. Oh, cool. Okay. <clears throat> Stairwell key. Ooh. Okay. Jeremy's Dearest treatment. Dr. Manzetti, I find myself in a losing battle with my patient. As I've disclosed in my previous letter, his delusions have him completely captured. It's bad enough that he is torturing himself with paranoia, but his madness turns out to be quite persuasive to others, effectively laying the ground for mass delusion. I am writing to you in hope that you can give me some guidance. Beyond my ambition to avoid devastating surgery on my patient, I have grown worried about my own defenses. The words of my patient are deranged, yet they often resonate with something primitive within me. I have tried photographing his brain with x-rays. It was surprisingly difficult to get good results. Dark blotches on the plates kept obscuring all details. My patient looked at the bad plates and cried out in terror, telling me the dark areas was the shadow of the worm, eating him from inside. Hmm. I could not see anything out of the ordinary. I hope this is a sign that my mind is not as receptive to the madness as I had feared. After further inquiry, my patient described the shadows inside his mind as some kind of chthonic monstrosity that wants to undermine his sanctuary. This is clearly a reference to a place he calls Teroea, a sort of library or convent that works as a psychological haven. With this imaginary haven threatened by this Chthonian, he has now constructed another less pleasant hiding spot. Lately, he has been bringing up a metaphor of a steamboat that has run aground, that he feels like he needs to start the engines and reverse, but he is afraid that the hole in the hull would cause the whole ship to sink. I've been watching him turn this metaphor into reality for the last week. He knows it's made up, but he is doubling down, trying to make it a real memory. I feel certain that this is my chance to break through the barriers of his self-deceit. Self-deceit. That, that was... What was in the contract? Ah, uh, Jeremy, you're digging yourself into a bigger hole, making it obvious. Uh, okay. Okay, let me see if I can get out of here. Uh. Oh. Uh. Okay, l let me get out of here. <laughs> okay, uh. Let's see. I feel like I'm gonna stop right here for a break. <laughs> How about a little break? Okay, let's observe the little animals in here. <laughs> okay. But yeah, oh boy! <laughs> All right, this is some adventure, everybody. <laughs> and I'm not sure what's gonna happen next. Looks like we got some more clues. We found the France for the globe. Oh, 
let me make that a note <laughs> for next time. <laughs> and okay, so we got some keys for our first floor hall key. This for the globe stairwell key. We're accomplishing a lot. <laughs> so much. We got a lot of documents and <laughs> notes. Athame, the contract, and etc. Oh boy. <laughs> We're getting some evidence. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> Alright. And Okay, so, yeah, it looks like we're gonna uh, unlock that hallway. Looks like we can get through the stairwell. Looks like that's gonna be our route. But yeah, I'm loving this adventure. <laughs> and, okay, so I'm gonna stream it for next, next weekend. I'm looking forward to it. <laughs> so, um, alright. I hope you guys have a good week. And, alright. Take care of everybody. And, hope the spring allergies is not gonna get to everybody. And, <laughs> alright. So, enjoy the day. I look forward to seeing you next weekend. So, Recipe, show some support so you don't miss me yet. Be there, be square, and I'll see you guys then. And <laughs> all right, I'm looking forward to the next adventure. All right, take care, everybody, and have a wonderful week. <laughs> Stay strong out there, and have a lovely day, lovely spring, <laughs> and. We have sprung into a wonderful thriller mystery of an incredible adventure. <laughs> it, it's so fantastic. <laughs> Can't get enough of this, everybody. <laughs> Alright. Yep. That's that. Buzzy bee. See you then.